Hey, I'm Alex Serena with Mac Tuts Plus. In addition to my work here at Mac Tuts Plus, I've actually uh, branched out and begun to do a little bit of small development on the side. And the first thing that I developed is a tool called Preferences Quick Launch, which serves uh, what I consider to have one broad purpose, uh, which is achieved by two smaller methods. So the broad purpose is to get you quick and easy access uh, to your system preference panes. And it does it in two different ways, which I'll show you later on in this tutorial. But before I move on, I just want to familiarize you with the terms that I'm going to be using in this video. So obviously, if you're a Mac user, you've probably interacted before with the system preferences. This is basically mission control for your Mac. Well, not actually missing mission control. This is mission control. But it is, uh, so to speak, like the control center for all uh, settings and preferences on your computer. Uh, and inside of system preferences, there actually lives what we call panes, which are basically small applications uh, in and of themselves which control different aspects of your computer. So, for example, the keyboard pane controls, unsurprisingly, your keyboard, uh, and so on. And these are uh, pretty easy to use and pretty easy to access usually. But if you're like me, I actually uh, use certain system preference panes over and over again. So going to system preferences, then launching uh, something from inside of that, just seemed like really more work than it should be when uh, most things that you do on your computer these days are just a keystroke or a click away. Uh, so what I mean by that is, you know, you launch system preferences and then if you want to go into sound, which is actually why I developed this, because I was in sound preferences so much as a podcaster, uh, it's just an extra click away. So to remedy this problem, I developed preferences quick launch, and I'll show you that right now. In order to download it, you're going to want to go to alexarena.com and then just click on the My Apps tab. Uh, from there, you're going to be brought to the Preferences Quick Launch website, which is just going to give you a little bit of information. Most of it uh, I'm sharing with you right now. Uh, but the one thing that I want to point out to you is that it's actually not one application, but rather 27 little applications, uh, each which launch a system preference pane. And there's a bunch of benefits to doing it this way, uh, which again, I'll probably show you later in the video. But it's just something to note uh, is that if you're only really in this to get at quick access to one or two preference panes, you can delete uh, the other 25 or 26 preference or little applications uh, and save some space on your computer. So uh, you can download it. It's a zip file and it's only for OS 10, uh, 10.8, which is Mountain Lion. Again, I haven't really tried it on 10.7 or 10.6, and I can't guarantee that it doesn't work, but I also can't say if it does. Uh, if it does actually work. So in this instance, I've just decided to support 10.8, but you can try it uh, in other places at your own risk. So anyway, I've downloaded the application, and now I'm going to show you how to install it. This probably won't be anything groundbreaking for most people, uh, but it is an unsigned application, which means that if you've got Gatekeeper turned on, you're going to need to bypass Gatekeeper uh, for each of these applications that you launch on the first time. So again, I just extracted the zip file, nothing groundbreaking there. And again, this shouldn't be surprising you, uh, but to install it, you just drag the Preferences Quick Launch folder to your applications. Uh, as a Mac user, you've probably done that quite a few times, so this, again, is nothing really shocking here. But now you can see that within the Preferences Quick Launch folder, we've actually got uh, all of these little applications. And if they look familiar to you, they should, because they're carbon copy clones uh, of everything that you would see in your System Preferences pane. It's just one quick, easier to get to. Uh, so what that means for you is that as individual applications, you can do some pretty cool things with them. You can work them into automator workflows and Apple script workflows. And probably the most useful thing for most people is that you can just put these things in your dock. So for me, as a podcaster, having the sound preferences one click away was a big deal. So I would just drag the sound preferences, just like any other application, to my dock, and it's there. Click on it. Now again, you're going to want to bypass Gatekeeper, just press open, uh, and then I'll, you only have to do that once. But then it goes straight into sound preferences, and it works the same for literally every other one of these applications. Again, it's a pretty simple utility. The other thing which this does, and again, goes back to my theory of the uh, one grand purpose, and then the two smaller uh, ways to achieve that, uh, is that you can actually now access your system preferences from your launch pad. So this is kind of a new concept, but I think this is going to develop further, which is the kind of the concept of a Launchpad power user. Uh, Launchpad was 
uh, a pretty basic tool when Apple launched it, but I think with things like this, you can actually add some pretty powerful functionality to it. So you can see that I've just got my normal Launchpad pages here. But what Preferences Quick Launch does is when you drag it to your Applications folder, it actually puts itself on a whole new page on your Launchpad. So just go to the farthest page to the right, and you'll see that all of your system preferences now live on their own Launchpad page. And again, this is if they're not trapped here, you can drag them around. So if you want parental controls on this page, you could do that. Do whatever you want, but by default, and this is a place where I think it's really nice to keep them, uh, it's just always one swipe away to the right. So if you're a big Launchpad user, this is uh, even easier access to your system preference panes. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Again, this is just a utility that I developed for my own personal use, and I figured that uh, some other people might want to take advantage of it as well. But I think going forward, I'll probably develop even more of these uh, as I become more comfortable with development on the Mac. But again, like I said, if you have any questions, I am the developer. Uh, so it's a pretty simple application, but you can post those in the comments below.